YouTube. Uh, today I'm gonna be airbrushing another helmet. Sorry if I don't sound enthusiastic. I have one of those special hangovers that makes me question every decision I've ever made. Anyway, um, the customer for this one has requested flames, you know, the stylized type of true fire thing around the edges, and he wants no fear written on the front. So I figured this would be a good opportunity to do a true fire video since everybody seems to like those. Uh, but I'm going to do it with water based paint. And a lot of people don't think that you can do flames properly with water based paint. And uh, a lot of painters that are far better than me seem to be of that opinion. But when I watch them do it, I disagree with the choices that they're making for paints. So I'm going to do it my way and uh, let's see how it turns out. This helmet already has primer and sealer on it. It was white when I got it. So obviously uh, I'm not including any of that in the video for anybody who's curious. I already have a how to paint your helmet video. If you want to know how that part's done, check that one out. Let's get started. All right, sorry if this is shaky. I'm just holding the camera in my hand. Anyway, here we have the aforementioned paint. Uh, a lot of people that I've seen do water-based jobs kind of just use these ones. And it looks like fire, but it doesn't look good really because the colors don't blend together when you're doing that. Even the transparents aren't really that transparent. So what you need for flames is for the colors to blend together. That's why we need to get into the candies. We've got four of them for this. Red, orange, sunset, and yellow. So I'm going to use that to kind of fade colors back into the previous ones. And hopefully that should give us a relatively good flame job. Let's see how it turns out.
True Fire water-based paint. I think it looks pretty good. You got the uh, the no fear on there like the customer wanted. So hopefully that was relatively informative. I'm gonna go throw some clear coat on this and then go back to bed and I will show you the finished product when it's ready. Alright, so here it is with the clear coat on it. Looks pretty good. It's got some orange peel in it still, but uh, I'll have to polish it out before I give it to the customer. So I think I'll probably make another video when I do that about how to polish. Might as well, right? How to polish out your clear coat. Got obviously the high gloss finish on the outside because that's the most durable and the nicest in general, I think. But uh, on the bottom of the visor here, I went with a matte finish so that the guy doesn't get reflection in his eyes or not reflection, glare I guess in his eyes when he's trying to snowboard and that's about it so hope you guys enjoyed the video and that this helped you out if you're planning on doing a uh, true fire type of job particularly with water based paints and uh, see you next time with that polish video later